Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. I'm Louise and I'll be giving you this week's inside scoop on the latest tech news. Ready to dive in? Let's go. So first up, legal complaints have been lodged against Clearview AI in five countries. The company has reportedly scraped facial images of more than 3 billion people from the web without their knowledge or permission. Clearview AI sells facial recognition software to law enforcement agencies and businesses like banks, governments, US police forces and also the London Metropolitan Police. So what's your opinion on facial recognition software? A natural step for technology or too much like Big Brother? Let us know in the comments below. Number two, Cirrus One data centres in Europe are now running on 100% renewable energy. The achievement comes a full nine years ahead of their 2030 target and they've also pledged to become a carbon neutral company by 2040. They plan to do this by using green energy in their data centres, designing energy efficient buildings and upgrading existing sites. I think it's great that companies are tackling climate change, so let's just hope this promotes other companies to do the same. Number three, Amazon has just launched a full managed container orchestration service. The service, which is called Amazon ECS Anywhere, offers consistent tooling and API experience for containers deployed on AWS, on-prem and cloud-based environments. The benefits are consistency of management and ease of migration of workloads between cloud and on-prem, although it means paying AWS to run applications on privately managed infrastructure. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. Number four, Microsoft and the Linux Foundation have launched a green software initiative. Several major players in the tech industry have banded together to form a non-profit organisation directed with creating a trusted ecosystem of engineers, standards, tools and best practices for creating green software. The foundation aims to help the wider software industry to contribute to the tech sector's ambitions of reducing their greenhouse gas emissions by 45% in 2030. This sounds like a step in the right direction for green software. Let us know what you think in the comments. And finally, number five, the White House is in conversations with Russia after the world's largest meatpacking company was hacked. The ransomware attack on JBS, which is reportedly to have started in Russia, is now affecting meat production in North America and Australia. It comes shortly after the attack on the Colonial Pipeline last month, which affected fuel delivery in the US for several days. I'm sure we've all noticed a rise in cybercrime over the past year, perhaps due to less secure work from home environments or more people online. But the question is, can we expect this number to decline as we come out of the pandemic? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So that's all the tech news we've got time for this week. But before you head off, I've got a few shout outs. The Amazon EMEA Summit starts next week and it's going to be jam-packed with education sessions, hands-on labs and the opportunity to speak to AWS specialists. Make sure to register for that in the comments below. Also, another one to register for, our very own Jason Field is speaking at a Chef webinar on the 9th where he'll be talking about automatic cookbook testing with GitHub Actions. And finally, Lucia Gore has written a blog about the benefits of design systems. It's now live on our website, so make sure to check that out as well. So thank you for joining me on this week's episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. Make sure to come back next week for even more tech news.